back to another video. Today I'm doing an update on Zoom here in fall 2021. I try to keep you up to speed on some of the changes that happen, but in particular, I wanna focus on some of the latest features. Really, this should encourage you to do that update for your Zoom app because Zoom is constantly changing things and a lot of the new features could be really useful in your own professional work here as you do virtual meetings and teaching uh, inside of Zoom. So let's jump onto Zoom now and look at some of these features. Um, so when we talk about Zoom here, we should realize that there are always two versions of Zoom we're working with, and you're seeing this on the screen. So I have my, my app-based version, and this is really good because we're gonna do an update in a second here. I'm glad this popped up. But the app version is basically like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. It lives on your computer and is an actual application that you load up. As I've said in all these trainings, you have to go back and forth between the two. It's just the case. So the app version is the first version. The second is when you go to zoom.us. In your browser, type zoom.us. And this is the one where you do a variety of settings that um, you can't do on the app that lives on your computer. So unfortunately, there are two versions of the Zoom app, the web and the native version, the app version that lives on the computer. You really have to work with both of those in your everyday life here working with Zoom. Now for Zoom updates, what you'll want to do is go to the desktop version of Zoom. And so I'll just pull that up again. And as you can see here, it tells me a lot of things have changed. I have 5.7.4 and I'm actually two versions behind. So I definitely need to get this because brand new chat features, chat sidebar enhancements, search bar, um, all kinds of cool new stuff. So I'm going to hit update. And I go through the installer here it will ask you for some permissions. And then I think typically, I'm trying to remember if you have to restart it or not. We'll see what happens when it goes. Now, while we're looking at that, let me show you one other thing. If you ever wanna see the latest features, I definitely recommend, I'll try to link to this. You just uh, can type in a browser, Zoom um, latest features or Zoom enhancements or something like that. This will give you, or release notes is even better. This will give you all the release notes by date and then by product. So the Zoom client, the web version, Zoom room, Zoom phone. And if you want to click Zoom client, it'll ask you if you're Android, Windows, Linux, iOS, which is Mac, um, or I guess iOS is, is the, uh, that would be the iPhone version and then the Mac version. So I'll click on that. And then this will tell me all the recent enhancements. And this is why you really do need to update your Zoom. If you don't, for example, and, and we're seeing now that the um, app is automatically connecting. So I didn't have to do anything there. I didn't have to shut it down. It did the installation and started it for me. But you'll see down here that beginning in uh, July, the Zoom apps for meetings was introduced. We currently can't use this because in order to use this, you need a Zoom sub account hosted locally. Um, I know with just not having hired the tech director and the new Canvas director or the DE director of online learning, um, we're still thinking about doing this. It might happen in the future, but um, it's always great to have the latest version of Zoom. Now for your basic features in Zoom, I really recommend that you go to LTCC teaching and learning dot com and click on the one pagers and you're going to see very shortly something I'm calling the everything sheet so the everything sheet will actually have all of this even in an easier to navigate format some of my uh, tips could be very useful to learning zoom but the one that's probably the best is the zoom PDF so click on that download the PDF and you see all these various tutorials. You simply click on these. Actually, the one I'm doing right now with you is right here. You click on any of these, it'll take you to the YouTube video. You view the video, learn the basics of Zoom. So that's one really good one to look at. The other one that was great was the Zoom checkup. I thought that one was really useful because I covered a variety of new features back in January 2021. And then I also recommend Zoom Top 10 because it just gives you some tips on like, the greatest things you can do, the 10 best features, if you will, in Zoom. So if you wanna check out the Zoom top 10, it also could be, I think, a very cool video for you to watch. So those one pagers will help you in a variety of areas. I also have another um, one pager found on the home screen. You can get it through the um, everything sheet and that is called Zoom and Beyond. And that has a lot of basic information that takes you through step-by-step -step with screenshots, showing you how to do certain things like a screen share in Zoom, showing you how to use your menus, showing you the different settings, annotate, whiteboard, high quality audio, 
camera microphone and uh, even checking your Zoom performance using the settings on the desktop version of Zoom. So definitely recommend checking out all those um, great resources that I've created for you over the years. When things change in Zoom, I'll update that in a new video, but the classic features of Zoom really haven't changed in years. Um, and, and I can say that literally, they haven't changed in years. So now if you're using Zoom for Eve, we can also talk about how to make Zoom more interactive. I recommend checking out some of my tutorials that focus on using a second camera, using iPhone apps, connecting through your Zoom screen share, um, a lot of different techniques you can use. You can also check out some of my interactive shorts feature, my um, tiny tech feature. You can check out my entire one pager I'm developing on different apps that you can use to supplement some of your Zoom teaching. So a lot you can do definitely in the Eve or enhanced virtual format for your students. Again, I mentioned some of the Zoom resources, and so check out all those to learn the basic features of Zoom. There's great tutorials on zoom.us that you can also check out. They'll really be helpful for you, I believe. As far as bells and whistles, I always say in these trainings that if you're not comfortable, whether it's Canvas or Zoom, you don't have to do all the bells and whistles. You could definitely just think of doing the things that work for you um, don't do things that are overly complicated that are going to stress you out in terms of your having to prep um, your class in addition to having to prep Zoom or Canvas learning on your own end. So don't do everything big. Just do the features and use the features that you need. I mentioned earlier we may get a sub-account um, through our, our local uh, campus in the future. We'll have to see if that happens or not. I'm not entirely sure if that will. But um, if it does, that could offer us some new Zoom features as well. And I already mentioned this, but again, just use what you need in terms of Zoom because why do everything if you just need a few features in Zoom? Don't try to kill yourself by learning things that you're not going to be able to handle while running a meeting. Keep in mind that during a Zoom meeting, it's not as easy to run things, I find, as a face-to-face -face meeting because you're controlling things like camera, lighting, your audio, you're thinking about your PowerPoints, you're maybe tracking attendance, you're trying to do screen shares, set up your iPhone to use with your computer, and maybe even doing stuff in the background with demonstrations. Really, really hard to do. So doing too much in Zoom is not a good idea. Stick with what you need and use only what you need in Zoom. As I always say, if you have any questions about Zoom, please reach out. I am kind of the quasi de facto Zoom person on campus, but there are certainly others that can help you as well. I'm always happy to help, and I'm just a email or Zoom meeting, as we're talking about Zoom today, away. Okay, well, that'll be it today here, giving you some updates in fall 2021 about Zoom. Um, hopefully get a chance to do that update to your Zoom app if you don't have the current version. Current version is always changing, and one of the great things is when you log on to Zoom, look at the current version, and it will always tell you if there's an update. If you need an update, you click update, it runs that update, and you're good to go until the next version. As always, reach out with any questions. I'll try to help you out with um, concerns that you might have about Zoom and how to use it in the most effective way here in your professional work at the college. Uh, thanks for listening. I'll be back with additional videos like this in the future.